In this video, we're gonna talk about Revenger Episode 7. <coughs> yeah, it's pretty fun. It's kind of a fun episode. But we're not going to get ahead of ourselves, guys, right now, right? It's the first time since the pilot that we're going to review this, uh, we're going to feature this uh this review of parts for this anime. So keep on watching and subscribe to this channel. Like I said a while ago. It's been the first time since the pilot that we are uh, that we are featuring uh, our review of this anime. So, six weeks ago, yeah, <laughs> and we came across this latest episode of there. Uh, okay. So first order of business, the thumbnail. I don't know about you guys, but I found this particular sequence profound because here goes. Uh, kuring mga samurai mentality again. Kasi ayaw niyong uh, ipalinis sa iba yung kanyang, uh, yung kanyang katana. He takes really good care of this one. And his reason to Soji was this. Why should I entrust my own sword when I can't trust myself? Napaisip talaga ako nun eh. If you want to look at it, uh, in a, in with a modern day way of thinking, may punto siya. How can you learn to um, to trust others when you can't even trust yourself? You have to uh, you have to trust yourself first. Okay? Dapat ikaw mismo wala ka trust issues sa sarili mo before you can uh, before you can seek out other people in a uh, and. Uh, giving them your trust. That was a profound sequence. And come and it came from, of course, not other than the main protagonist mentality. So with that out of the way, guys, let's get into the nitty gritty of this episode. Pace. I don't know about you, but through the pacing of this episode, I found the um, the yaoi sex scenes here disturbing. <laughs> Knowing for a fact that the prostitutes uh, that were that were showcased in the first half of the episode were all high on opium, you would find the pacing disturbing. Because uh, the moment this monk named Seiko uh, smelled uh, smelled a lot of opium in the room, dun na talaga nagane, naging disturbing yung pacing. Which eventually culminated in the Revengers' um, mission to to totally shut down this um this uh what's called this this uh, this convent this fake convent. Do I have complaints? Obviously not, guys. Talagang the pacing will make will, will make it clear to you that what um. What the main character, what the lead characters are dealing with here, isn't just um, uh, isn't just isn't just somebody who's out for revenge. Eh? They're dealing with an opium syndicate here. Kano na alala ang sitwasyon dito sa 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 anime na to. And the pacing will make you realize that it's a slow and excruciating one. Pero it's quite a profound one. It's quite a profound one. Flow naman. I only saw two gear sheets here, guys. First one was when Seiko first smelled that opium. For me, it's a no-brainer of a gear sheet because it instantly told me that, okay, here we go again. Looks like we're going down that road of uh, of the Revengers simply taking out another, another extension of this opium syndicate. Second gear ship, final one, was of course when the Revengers uh, raid started. Uh, when the raid on this fake convent started. No brainer there, folks. Dahil, well, as, as the fight scenes went on, but we slowly came to that realization na, Oi, itong inchik na itong kumigdap ni Kurima, Aba eh, 
direkta na nakialam sa mission nila. This case, we'll also tell you that from here on end, it's not gonna get easy for Kurima, for Kurima and, his, uh, and his associates. Will we expect more gearships like this? Absolutely. So these two gearships that I saw, guys, begin, right? Watch the whole episode. Kasi, you will totally miss out on, uh, on the profound sequences during the first half of the episode. Eh. Kasi dito talaga nag-stem yung, uh, yung mission nila, nila Kurima in taking out that big torment. Plotwise. Um, not the intentional story. Eh. Therefore, Malinis ang plot, guys! Totally clean plot, guys. Okay? Totally clean plot. Did I say more? Wala eh! Ni-explain your sequence nga, wala eh! So, based more with plot, I almost didn't tell uh, the flow from the plot. Okay? I don't know about you guys. If you if you um think other things as gearships, feel free to comment below. Alright, let's talk about that. So Revenger episode 7! Yeah, no brainer. This episode was a far cry from the um from the from the pilot. Or, uh, or even ganun. Uh, hindi ko na matandaan. Eh. Uh, I have to look into that again. But anyway, it's a, it's a really good episode. It's quite, it had quite a disturbing pacing because of the drugs that were, um, uh, because of the, um, because of the drug, the drugs factor. Talagang, pag involved na talaga ang droga, nagiging disturbing na ang pacing ng episode. Alright? Whether it be anime or live action, if, if drugs are factored into uh, into the plot of an episode, the pacing gets really disturbing. Because it, well, it's happening now, eh? It's happening in our midst. Okay? In the na yon, opium. So, wow. So while we're at it, guys, while we're waiting for the next episode to drop, Feel free to watch the uh, the uh, my other reviews on this playlist. Okay. Ah, you can all, you can all, right.